Made by partnerships, this platform really much helped Brazil improve its armored vehicle capabilities in the sense that it may end its way to the inventory of the armed forces of the Philippines through a marketing pitch made by an Israeli company that contributed to the enhancements made on this armored vehicle. This product goes along with the awarding of another project in the Philippine Army, which also involves sophisticated armored vehicles. Armored vehicles are essential for an armed forces to have especially on the mobilization of troops and repower across the land to the areas of concern, especially with the safeguards that the troops needed for deployment are safe from ambushes, especially from small arms re. Current armored platforms in service range from troop carrying armored personnel carriers to APC, to an armed one, such as an infantry ting vehicle or IFV, which is usually an APC with a gun turret TED above, designed for support against enemy infantry and armor, depending on its configuration, and eventually a dedicated light or medium tanks, which carries more re-power than a typical infantry ting vehicle that can eliminate enemy infantry and armor at an increased lethality. The Philippine Army currently obtains a significant number of armored personnel carriers, such as the M113 APCs, and wheeled ones like the GKN Simbas, made by GKN Systems, now part of BAE Land Systems, and V-150 Cadillac Gauge Commandos, that are still in service within the service branch's armored Tambado Division, which is soon to have newer assets within its inventory, such as the one which will be discussed throughout the length of this article. These newer assets aim to have the number of units within the armored division increase, as it may augment the older, existing platforms in active service, as more troops needed protection and support on their deployment, and actively improve the counterinsurgency drive of the armed forces against the enemy elements that endanger the peace and security of the country, such as the Moro radicals in the south of the country, or the communist treads scattered all across the nation's remote areas. In this discussion, we will cover more in detail about the vehicle that the Israeli defense company Albert Land Systems and C4I promoted to the Philippine Army through the Department of National Defense, especially with the partnerships forged, the role that its main manufacturer of ECHO played in the development, the company's prole and information existed from other defense pages, which will be added for the context of this discussion matter. The Elbits Air of the Aveco Guarani Armored Personnel Carrier is just one of the candidates for the Philippine Army's Armored Personnel Carrier APC, acquisition project, wherein it faced competition against the airs made by other manufacturers, such as PT Pindad's Panzer Anoa 6X6 APC, Atoker's Arma APC, Excalibur Army's Pander 2, as well as others not mentioned here. These reports came out from a page extension made by a fellow defense outlet Max Defense Philippines, wherein they also provided details about the acquisition which came with 28 units, at the allocated budget for the contract, ABC, price of PHP 2265200000000 or basically PHP 80900000000 per APC unit, of which it will have a weapons mount, which can be seen on a link highlighted in red above. The said deal is said to be done through a government-to-government -government deal, in which the Israeli government played a role in making this procurement possible in the same manner that was done for the light tank acquisition project, which was also won by Elbit, with its Sabra light tank air, which is basically a Modi to Scott and Pander platforms, Ted with the Sabra turret, wherein it may get discussed on a separate entry. It is said in those reports that these armored personnel carriers may have an option to be TED with remote-controlled weapon system that may come in place to the original man turret air, which are either a 12.7mm machine gun or a 40mm grenade launcher, weaponry that has already been proven on board M113s, which was also supplied by the same Israeli weapons provider to the Philippine Army. While the discussions of the procurement have already been covered by our fellow defense outlet and its extension page, we will not dwell much on its detail, and instead, we will cover more about the platform itself, and the manufacturer set up to have a greater picture of the details, covering the future armored personnel carrier, that the Philippine Army is set to have. 
The development of the Guarani armored personnel carriers started between the collaboration of Aveco Defense Vehicles and the Brazilian military's Army Technology Center, wherein both parties aimed to produce these 6x6 armored vehicles to replace the E-11 Yurutu and the E-9 Cascaval armored personnel carriers that the Brazilian Army attained through the years, which were both produced by the former Brazilian defense company Ingesa, which went bankrupt in the late 1990s. It is detailed that the VBTP Mr. Guarani 6x6 armored vehicle, on the collaboration May, will be produced in Brazil, which continues and carries on the legacy that the former Brazilian defense company made in producing the E-11 Yurutu and the E-9 Cascaval during its time, wherein there is still the essence that these platforms, although it is marketed under a Veco defense vehicle's portfolio, is considered an armored vehicle proudly made in Brazil. A partial number of 86 units for this type of armored vehicle were purchased by the Brazilian Army in 2012 at the contract cost of $246 million, which can be equated to the contract unit cost of $2.86 million, or if converted to the Philippine peso is at around PHP 143 million, which is higher than the air made by Elbit to the Philippine Army at the direance of PHP 63 million, as the cost of production minimized a bit which may influence the pricing, along with the direance in the terms of the deal between the wins that Brazil took, as opposed to the win took to the Philippine Army a bit packages, spare parts, training, ammunition, support, etc. Take note that the RST deal took place in 2012 between Aveco Defense Vehicles and the Brazilian military, wherein many developments took place between that date and the current date this article has published, wherein they have a primary objective to have at least 2,044 vehicles produced at the rate of 100 units manufactured at the given timeline of 20 years, which is up until 2030, in a sense that the duration of production for these units of Guarani armored personnel carriers may benefit the Philippine Army in the long run, at the logistical point of view. It is with Elbit's contribution of armaments on this primarily Brazilian Army of Echo armored personnel carrier project that it has the leverage of marketing this platform to the Philippine Army in a way that it came with a dire inconguration in accordance to the specifications set by the service branch for its own use. From the deals set, Aveco Defense Vehicles and the Brazilian plant that the VBTP Mr. Guarani 6x6 armored personnel carrier produces may indirectly benefit from this project, aside from the direct deals that both the Philippine Army and the Elbit Systems Land and C4I on the procurement of these vehicles as it ramps up the production line even further and benefits the defense business model, which provides labor to the local Brazilians working on the manufacturing of these platforms, aside from the orders made by the Brazilian Army.